To me, Black History Month has changed. Uh, before it was more of a time of reflection, uh, but now I believe it's more of thinking of where we've come from and, and what we are, where we are now today. Uh, the struggles that uh, previous uh, African Americans had to go through and thinking of it now is that uh, the civil rights leaders and everything that they've done has gotten us to the point where uh, there are no struggles or less struggles, I would say. The Mont for Port Marines, the first uh, African-American Marines to serve in the Marine Corps, uh, I would say they definitely paved the way for people like myself uh, because of the struggles that they went through, uh, joining in a time of segregation and going to fight in wars, uh, and then having to come back and, and be in a reality where their life is still segregated and have to go through those kind of struggles, uh, paving the way for people like myself that no longer have to go through those things. Coming up to the future, uh, for people like uh, Sergeant Major Kent, Sergeant Major McMichael, Sergeant Major Estrada, Sergeant Major Green, uh, no one would ever think that you know a black or African American Marine would ever become the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. So uh, I would say that those Marines paved the way to, to help people like myself to become great. My message to, uh, to younger Marines, sailors, anyone uh, person of color in the military uh, is the sky's the limit. Um, you know, when I first started out, I was just just another Marine uh, and no one ever cared about you know my race or anything like that and, and I never let that hold me back or ever thought about how you know that would come up to opportunities that I couldn't handle because of my race uh, the Marine Corps has really opened the doors for for persons of all color and the fact that if you have strong dreams and you pursue them you can definitely become someone